Where's the pink? <laughs> yeah, Stuart yeah, finishes, finishes with the first 50 order. 93. It's in the corner. It's, it's in the, the corner. corner. <laughs> of course, anybody could have doubled this red into the middle pocket. <laughs> Ali decided he'd do something a bit special. Why double it in the middle when you can play a shot like this? <laughs> <laughs> that pot there. <laughs> now that was just a swerve and hit and it happened to go in. <laughs> oh my goodness me. He hit that all wrong and he's ended up fluking it. Been out with that. Where's the red ball going? Oh, well, would you believe it? Hand up to apologise. Well, so the last thing he needs is a run of the ball. Well, it never rains, but it pours, does it? 131 first visit in the first frame. Wide on that long red and round the table in the pocket. Oh, he hasn't fluked it. He hasn't fluked it. Oh. Goodness what? gracious. Me. What is happening at the Crucible Theatre this morning? He can't believe that. Where's the red? Where is the red? Can you get the red? Oh, that is so fortunate there. Catches his red too full, he could get a double kiss and leave the red on. He's playing the swerve. Where's the, where's the red ball going? Well, would you believe it? The things that can happen on a 12-foot snooker table will always amaze. And he's finished on the brown. Playing the deep screw, can he avoid the black? Yeah, he played it thick, didn't he? Oh, he's flicked one, has he? Yes, he has. One. Ah, oh, dear. It's not hitting the yellow. Can you get it safe? Can you get it safe? Can you get it safe? Well, it's safe enough when it goes in the pocket. <laughs> Apologises to Stuart. So now, just the green needed. Put the black into the same pocket. Middle do. <laughs> One. Oh. It's incredible, and particularly the pace. Just have a look at it. Well, oh, snooker, but shouldn't be a problem with a little swerve here. Especially if you pot it. Right. Everything's coming up at the minute. Oh, oh yeah, it's good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You need to stop it now, Judge. You're showing off. Seven. Didn't play the pot. Well, he didn't play the red in the middle either. Dear me, what a result. And perfect on the black. Key shot coming up. No. Unbelievable fluke. I mean, how many times do you see that? Have a look at this, he really did hit this hard. I watch it takes a little bit of side there and then spins back towards the pocket. Amazing. Oh, well, would you believe it? One. Flute the snooker and now flute the red. He's not happy. I'll be honest with you, neither would I. Oh, he's fluked it. One. He's fluked it. Judd was puffing his cheeks hey, there. He, hit and hope might be a better option. 
Well, he's hit it. Oh, there's a red in the middle. Can you believe it? And does the brown pot. <laughs> You've seen everything tonight. It's not straightforward, but that's what you call the old hit and hope. And he fluked the red, but didn't fluke position. Hold up, hold up. Wow. What a fluke. What a timely fluke. 14. Let's have a look at this again. Incredible. There's the pink. And does the black cut in? He's got it. He's got it. Every credit to James Cahill. A nervy affair comes to a conclusion on the black. Happens in films. This cue ball's gone close to the corner pocket. Oh, oh. you're joking me. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Joe Perry's not amused because this is as close <laughs> to an impossible snooker to get out of. 